Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're gonna be talking about some of the scariest ghost moments caught on tape. Now there's nothing I love more than a good scary ghost video. Well, maybe an exorcism video, but we're gonna show some of those today too. Now the thing that's really scary about these videos is you don't actually know if they're real or not because there's no scientific proof that ghosts really exist. I mean, people have been trying to find ghosts for years. There's been ghost hunting TV shows. Psychics have tried to talk to dead people and channel their spirits. Movies like The Conjuring 1 and 2 say that they're based on a true story and that these ghosts were real. You really don't know what to believe. So if you're like me, you just believe it all. <laughs> so here are just a few of my favorite ghost videos. Here we go. Okay, so in this home video, you see these two girls hanging out in their living room. Then in the corner of the doorway, you see what looks to be a ghost girl peeking through. Now she's super high up, almost as if she's floating. And then some crazy ass shit happens. Just watch. Are you sure? I don't think so. Yeah! What's that? Listen, I know that one is probably fake, or there's probably no proof that it is real, but when that girl ducked down in that doorway, fuck. <laughs> no. Move. Granted, my house is haunted too, and I still haven't moved, so... Anyways, okay, so this next video was caught on surveillance cameras at an office building. And somebody is watching and recording it with their iPhone, and you can hear a bunch of people standing around watching too. Because of that, this one feels very real to me. I definitely don't think this one is fake. So in this video, you see a man working at an office all alone at night when some things around the office start to move. And then it gets fucked up. Hey, you got a fever? I heard, I heard that you had a fever. Huh? Wee! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so the chair moved on its own, which is creepy enough, and then it gets creepier. That one, that one, the chair, chair. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 the chair, that chair. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, that is creepy. Okay. Wait, I can't see anything. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, that one feels very real to me. I used to work in an office, um, and I would stay really late at night sometimes to get paperwork done. And I would hear things in other rooms, I would hear creaking, I would hear walking around. I'd swear that there was somebody else there, maybe a janitor, maybe a custodian, and it was just me. So I feel like an office building would be a place that a ghost would linger. I mean, maybe it's the ghost of somebody that used to work there that got fired and killed himself. I don't know, throwing it out there. Okay, so this next clip is very intense. So as you guys know, when a ghost haunts a house, sometimes they call it a poltergeist. Now, poltergeist is bigger than a ghost. It's almost like a demon. It's an entity. It's something that really wants you to get the fuck out. Probably what I had in my house. <laughs> now, this man had been experiencing a poltergeist in his house, so he set up a camera to record the footage while he was gone. And what he found was fucking terrifying. Check it out. Sunday the 19th of July. Fucking scary as fuck. Now, obviously that one is probably fake, because if that was real, it would be on the news and a lot more people would be talking about it. But I don't know, it still fucking scares me. I mean, as you guys know, in my house, I had a ghost that would open up cabinets and drawers and, you know, mess around with my fridge. Okay, that might have been me in the middle of the night. But the cabinets was definitely a ghost, so I don't know. Could be real. So if there's anything I love just as much as ghost videos, it is exorcism videos. Now listen, <laughs> they are dark, they are fucked up, and they are very real. Now an exorcism is basically when somebody is possessed by a demon and they need a priest to come and help them get the demon out. Now this isn't just stuff they show in movies. This is real life. There are professional exorcists that have been deemed by the Catholic Church. That is very, very real. There have been tons of stories about people who have been possessed by demons throughout history. Now I know a lot of people probably don't believe it, but I definitely do. Now in this video, a girl who is possessed by a demon has a priest come over and try to get it out of her. She's being held down by her two parents and some of the shit she is saying is just 
so disturbing. And I'm warning you, it is very intense, and if you are squeamish or creeped out by demonic possession, you should definitely leave. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, we are the Father, the Holy Spirit. The demon exists or not? It exists, demon! How do you demonstrate it? How do you demonstrate that it exists? It exists! It exists! It exists! I know. Very, very uncomfortable to watch. There's something very, almost panic attack inducing when you're watching one of those videos because you really don't know where it's gonna go. The thought of a demon possessing somebody's body and making them do things that they can't control is my actual nightmare. But the one I'm gonna show you guys later in the video is even more fucked up and it involves blood. But I'm gonna save that for the end of the video because a lot of you guys are gonna wanna click off. Okay, so this next video kind of involves demons and also ghosts. Now sometimes dead people or demons can possess more than just a person. They can possess an object. So I'm sure you guys remember the movie Annabelle that came out a few years ago. Supposedly it's based on a true story of a demon that put its spirit into a doll. Now listen, dolls to me are scary enough as it is. They're like little porcelain people. You swear that you can see the eyes moving and you swear that when you leave the room they move their heads. Well this next video shows that happening right in front of our eyes, and it is so scary. <laughs> I'm warning you, it's very scary. Check it out. Sara, ven conmigo! Capo! Bueno, aquí les presentamos a la muñeca de Betty que se la regalaron de 15 años. No manches, mira! Yo fui humano. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. That to me is scarier than any demon or possession or poltergeist. Seeing those little dolls move on their own. Now listen, maybe these are fake. I don't think they are. Those little girls in those videos looked genuinely terrified. I mean, ah, ah, I can't even think about it. Sorry. Just Making sure the deer is not moving. Okay, if you're gonna move, can you please wait till I leave the room like a Toy Story situation? Okay, thanks. Okay, so this next video is another home video and it was taken in the middle of a forest. Now there's a Russian man, he has a camera and he's walking his dog. The dog runs off into the forest and then the man sees something really crazy in front of him. Now supposedly this happened in Russia. A man was walking his dog, the dog ran off and then he saw something that he did not believe. He saw a girl levitating and a woman standing on the ground watching her. And the man was filming the whole thing. Watch. That one to me was extra scary because number one, the woods or the forest or anywhere where there is not civilization scares me anyways. But levitation and flying and witchcraft is something that I do believe in, but I've never seen it happen in real life. I mean, we've all played the games when we were kids, you know, light as a feather, stiff as a board, where you think you're making somebody levitate, but you're probably not. Even if that video was fake, just seeing that girl floating like that so realistically really fucked me up. So this next ghost video that I'm gonna show you is probably one of the most famous ghost videos there is and a lot of people do think it's fake and a lot of people think it's real people get very upset and debate about whether or not it is I personally have no idea but it is very very interesting to me and very fucked up so basically in this video you're gonna see a guy on his bike drive right into a car fly off and die then supposedly you can see his ghost standing above his body while the ambulance is coming I know. 
that one is very, very sad. And there's just something about that one that makes me extra uncomfortable. Now, I don't know if I think it's real or not. Obviously, that could have very easily been just special effects, but that is probably what happens. I mean, you probably die and then your spirit probably leaves your body. I have seen people die in real life. I've shown you guys people die in real life in videos. The second they die, they're gone. Like, their spirit is gone. So where would it go? Maybe it would just watch while people started cleaning up the mess. Whew. God, that is really chills. Okay, so this last video I'm gonna show you is very, very disturbing and graphic, and if you are squeamish to blood, you should definitely click on. So in this video, you see a girl who is getting an exorcism and it causes a very violent reaction inside of her. You can see blood spewing out of her mouth. Basically, the demon does not want to leave and it is clawing its way to stay inside. Come on. Now listen, I don't know how you could say that is fake. <laughs> that is very, very real. That was real blood. That was a real person. I don't know why they would make that if it is fake, but either way, it is one of the scariest things I think I've ever seen. So there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed watching all of those scary moments. Let me know down in the comments if you think they're real. Let me know which ones you think were real and which ones you think were fake. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing more creepy videos. And subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see more of my creepy videos where I talk about death or ghosts or conspiracy theories, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you little ghosts, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so first I'm going to take a scoop of this. We're just going to scoop it into this gross, sad plastic cup. Then we're going to take one of these red lines, which by the way, nobody wants. Stop making them. Literally, stop making these. Me, when I read the comments on my popping cooking videos,